Rockets here at home in this Western Conference matchup live here in Houston. Welcome everyone to NBA basketball here on 2K Sports. Tonight, it's Noche Latina, celebration of Latin culture in the league. It's become an annual tradition and a very good one. This is Kevin Harlan joined by Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and on the sideline, David Aldridge. You take a look at the Grizzlies. It's an opportunity for them to play in a heated matchup like this to play your best basketball. These are the games, guys, that show how well you match up against the other great teams in the league. This is a special matchup. I mean, we got here tonight two rival franchises, a lot of history between the two, yeah, and some bad blood. So let's just see how all this adds up in terms of drama. You know what? This game has been circled on every NBA fan's calendar for a while now. Can't wait to see what unfolds here. Look at the opening lineup for the Memphis Grizzlies. Conley and Allen working once again together in the backcourt. Chandler Parsons out there with Green. And it's Gasol at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And when you look at the Rockets, I mean, plenty of offense. But last year, there was a huge drop-off defensively. And, and given this team's lofty goals, that, that really flies right in the face of that old adage, defense wins championships. Dishes it to Harden. Beverly wide open. And another three for Houston. A lot of times in the first quarter, it will dictate how big a role a player has later on. Yeah, I think so. The reason why you get your confidence early and then late in the games, you're able to knock down those shots. And he just leaves the D in the dust and explodes to the basket. You're right. Uh, maybe a momentum changer right there, huh? I think it very well could be. That might be the game-changing play that helps push them over the top. Now, here's Ariza. He points his last outing. They set the screen. Five on the clock. Houston moving it around. It's stolen by Allen. And Parsons kicks to Allen. And Conley gets it to go. The assist by Allen. And talking about how the Rockets are structured, they do have some players on the roster, Greg, who can play defense. It's, it's a wonder they've been so bad at that end. I mean, the problem with defense, though, Kevin, is that it takes all five guys to buy in. You have to have a level of trust on the floor, and that happens for the Rockets only once in a while, which is why they give up an insane number of points to their opponents. The Rockets shooting their first free throw tonight. And so here's Memphis. They trail by seven. They come into this one following the loss to the Mavericks. And one of the factors, Kevin, that really hurt them in that game, the lack of success at the foul line. We all know how much those free throw woes can cost them. Yeah, they really cost themselves there for sure. You have to make those shots. You just have to. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Alder. Thank you, Kevin. I was able to talk with the head coach of the Grizzlies for just a minute. He said this will be a great mental challenge for his team. He told me he looks forward to games like this, saying the team we're facing really knows how to execute on offense. And when we're firing on all cylinders, we can do the same. Kevin? Okay, Dave, thanks. Well, guys, it really makes sense to have their defense poised to deal with the great shooters on the floor tonight. It really does. If they can't keep the damage Take done a by those guys a to a minimum, Two then shots. it's going to be a long night. No question about that. They must crowd their shooters and give them little to no room to operate. Free throw. Good, Anderson. All-star break is behind us now. Teams are gearing up for the end of March and April. Where the season hits the home stretch, always fun to watch. It is. I mean, you start to look around March, you're saying, hey, can this team actually move into playoff contention? Can this team move up to have home court advantage? A lot of teams starting to say, we got to play our best basketball in March and April. And both free throws good for Anderson. And we see the growth of the three-point shooting big man, the stretch four, if you will. Ryan Anderson was at the forefront, it seems, of that movement. Yeah, especially at his volume of threes. He's never been just a secondary floor spacer. He's a go-to scoring threat with his outside shooting. Stolen by Michael Conley. The 19-foot shot. They get it back. 
Parsons gets it to go. Love the high activity of Conley on defense, keeping his arms moving all the time to create problems for the opposition. Ariza outside. There's a good screen. Six on the shot clock. He dishes it to Hart. Hart down low that time, and he got the three-second goal. Let's try to take a look at the steal numbers over the last uh, couple months, the scope of that for Green. I feel like he hasn't been paying as much attention to the defensive aspect of the game as he needs to. His steals have dropped over the past few months, and he needs to get back some of that fire on D. The Grizzlies trailed by five. Here's Conley. He had a 30-point outing their last game against the Mavericks in Dallas. And he really controlled the pace of the game by getting to the line. The D could not slow him down, and he took advantage of it. Now here's Parsons. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. So you ask his teammates, Marcus Saw is really the catalyst for the Memphis Grizzlies. He's a defensive anchor and also the focal point on the offensive end. Got his first free throw of the game. throw drops for Gasol and no doubt Gasol the engine of this team Steve but he maintains a very humble demeanor don't you think a star but also you can label him as a great teammate he stands up for his guys he's bonds with them puts the team first that's what you want from your best player and so Mark Gasol nails both of them in terms of big man he is certainly one of the better free throw shooters in this league with it 26 points for him last game against the Clippers and he showed again why he is such a sensational playmaker some of the plays he made were just remarkable misses the three after four straight makes couldn't quite get that one to go down still a terrific start Parsons for three and the rebound goes to the Rockets they traveled to Memphis last time they faced the Grizzlies and came away with a win. And, and the last time these teams met, it was a walk in the park, and everybody got in on the act. Their bench was spectacular in that win. And you can be sure they will be counting on their reserves to step up again in a big way. Here's Harden, rejected by Gasol. Gasol with those long arms is a shot-blocking expert, especially down low. Yeah, clearly he had an established position there. Now Allen. He's had some playing time, but no scoring yet from him. Back to Parsons. Tries to keep it alive. You know what? That passing lane wasn't open for long. He closed it down in a heartbeat there to get the seal. Marcus Gasol picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Anderson the screen. Harden wide open. He shoots. Nice teamwork to set up the pick play and make the space for the J. It's impossible to stop him. You can only hope to contain him. The Grizzlies trail by five. Now here is Conley. He has an average of around 19 and a half points a game. His scoring has been a constant for them. Parsons' shot is off. The Rockets have gone 5 of 8 from the field, shooting over 62%. Anderson is screen on cover. Beverly dishes to Anderson. Here's Harden. Here's the pass to Capella. The Rockets shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. And on the season, you know, they're hitting about 76%, which is a decent rate. He's off on the first. Zach Randolph, he's checked in for Memphis.
good on the second free throw. You have to respect the continuity and consistency of the Grizzlies. Since the beginning of the grit and grind era, six consecutive playoff appearances. That's second longest streak in the league, only to the San Antonio Spurs. Conley, the pass to Randall. 13 feet away. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. And for a franchise that was once one of the NBA's worst, you can't take for granted the success the Grizzlies have enjoyed in recent years. The first 15 years in this league, they had never won a playoff game. In the last six seasons, 27 playoff wins. It's not an NBA title, but it matters. Well, Zach Randolph has a throwback type of game. Always in the post. Not a lot of athleticism, but he gets it done. And the Rockets making a change here. Nene is checked in. The Grizzlies also making a change. Carter's checked in. And Zach Randolph drops him both. Out, out. And Randolph not the quickest or Carter. the most explosive, but he is strong. He's a load inside. You add his skill and his savviness. He'll just find a way to score inside. He's a lefty with great footwork, and he has a soft touch. Now go to the real stats, the real scores from the real NBA. See the league's top assist man, James Harden, number one. It's hard to argue with his status as the best passer in the NBA right now. He just distributes the ball so well. Rockets leading by four. Pass to Beverly. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. Beverly's got 10 points. And their offense already in a flow. Some stellar shooting to jump out to this league. Here we go. One on one. Knocked loose. It's stolen by Allen. Conley left side. He kicks it to Randolph. Carter outside. The dish to Conley. Down to five on the shot clock. Pulls up. High post. Will not go. This is off the front eye. Houston's gone two or three from deep so far in this game. The three from Harden. Nailed from three-point land. And it's a nine-point rocket lead. And, and you can sense the momentum really starting to swing their way. They're beginning to put it all together, in my opinion, and take control of this game. Now here's Randolph. He had a 24-point outing in their last game against the Mavericks in Dallas. He was really aggressive on the glass, too. He really racked up on the boards out there. Rockets leading by nine. Harden draws the double. It's Ariza on the wing. Capella kicks to the net from 12 feet out and misses it off the right side of the rim. Not the best shot right there with a good defender draped all over you. No, not at all. When you see him guard you, just try to move the basketball on. Here's Beverly. A chance there to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Outside Carter. Good, and the assist goes to Gasol. Carter's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. Come. Harden draws the double from deep. Randolph grabs the board. The Grizzlies trail by six. Conley dishes to Gasol. Carter sets the pick for Gasol. Memphis moving that ball around. Allen passes to Randolph. 
right. Up and in from the low block. Can't stop Zach Randolph when he's that close to the bucket. Even with the defense draped all over him, he still nails it. Allen against Harden. Ariza, right side. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Gasol. And taking a look here at some numbers for Harden. His last 10 games have been exceptional. He's averaging 30 points, 10 assists, and 7 rebounds. And just look at those scoring totals. He's been doing what he does best, putting points on the board. Catching up on the changes for Houston. Deckers check in for Clint Capel. Gordon comes in for James Harden. And it's Williams in for Patrick Beverly. Daniels kicks to Randall. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. Zach Randolph, one of the toughest, most physical players in the league. And Steve, he's an emotional leader as well on this team. Well, his approach to the game. He plays with a lot of heart. He's confident. He's aggressive. And he's a hard worker. He doesn't back down from a challenge. And he's willing to shoulder the load when he has to. And that one misses. Steve, I always hear you talking about your Spartans. Spartans this, Spartans that. Do you, do you follow <laughs> players more closely? Who enter the NBA out of Michigan State? I, I would think it's just natural. No, oh, no, no, for sure. I mean, I get Our a fans, chance. they demand honesty. Yes, for sure. <laughs> I mean, I go up to Michigan State all the time. Yeah. Spend so much time. Uh, you got Draymond. You got Zach Randolph, Gary Harris, Adrian Payne. So many guys. Allen Anderson. So many guys in the NBA from Michigan State. It's hard not to follow. And we're a close knit family. That speaks to the program very well, doesn't it? It speaks to leadership. Tom Izzo. Yep. yep. Now here's the name. Boy, was he something else against the Clippers. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. And the Grizzlies with one of the most established team identities in, in league history. You think of the Showtime Lakers, the, the, the bad boy Pistons. For the Grizzlies, uh, they had that great call sign. It's grit and grind. And so true. Tony Allen coined the phrase way back in 2011. It comes to define this team's brand and its style of play. Toughness and heart. They have that lunch pail mentality. Good on the second free throw. The Grizzlies trail by four. And here's Douglas. He's averaging a bit over five points a game. Offside Gasol. From 13, Green for two points. Gasol's got his second bucket tonight. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Nene outside. Feeds to Gordon. Fires for three. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. You know, the defense has got to do a much better job of fighting over those screens. You know, that job of getting through screen is not pretty, but somebody has to do it. Pass to Daniels. Shoots a three. No good on the shot. And Houston the other wing. Come into this having outplayed the Clippers last game. And guys, they could have won that game on the strength of their offense alone. It was that good. Knocking down every kind of shot imaginable. Hard to take them down when they are clicking like that. Douglas against Williams. Randolph dishes to Carter. And that one comes up a bit short. Not a good pick there. If I'm shooting the ball and I'm looking at it, I'm asking where is the effort? You've got to do a better job of screening. Baseline try. A reason no one. You love the close out on that possession. I love it because you don't give up on the play. Just that little contest bothered his shot. Now here is Carter. He's coming off a 10-point game against Dallas. Ariza against Carter. Ariza kicks to Nene. Back to Ariza. Ariza with another miss. And this quarter, he has clearly been off the mark. Williams against Douglas. 0 
over in the corner. Gasol. That's good with a Douglas assist. And that's now nine points for Mark Gasol. When Gasol feels the D playing off of him, he has no problem going right up with the shot. Great confidence from the big man. Williams sinks it. What range from outside. Wow. Williams has got six. And we reach the end of the first quarter. Rockets ahead, up by eight. And certainly an intriguing man. You're playing against a team that is very... Ariza might as well be describing his own game. Scrappy, ready to play, ready for anything, ready to, to claw to get that win. Yeah, and he's been that kind of all-out guy going all the way back to his days at UCLA. When you combine that with his talent, he's a guy who, no matter where he's been, his teammates rave about. Turn to the second quarter and no Jay Latina specialized jerseys on display. Welcome back, everyone. Let's quickly break down the game we've seen so far from the Rockets, guys. I tell you what, the scoring has come in threes for the most part here so far. This has definitely been a perimeter oriented game, and right now it seems like they can't miss. Taking a look at the Grizzlies, we've got Tony Douglas, Zach Randolph is out there with Green, and there's Carter, and it's Daniels in at the two. Now here's Williams. Steps back and fires. That shot is off target. That makes him two for three. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Well, guys, a lot of Thunder fans still lamenting the trade of James Harden to the Rockets a couple of years ago when he became a superstar. But Harden doesn't. He said recently, this is beyond my expectations. If I'd stayed in OKC, I'd still be in a good situation, but I don't think the sneaker deal and these other opportunities would have happened. He added, look, this is a grind. Every time you lose, you're blamed. For me, it's about continuing to work and focusing on what I can control. Kevin? He deserves that top billing, D.A. Thanks. Well, for so long, you always heard the old uh, saying, you live by the three, you die by the three. The team shooting more three-point shots now, Smitty, than ever. Is it time to retire that cliche and say, you know, well, it's part of the game. That That's a standard in the game. <laughs> you know, Kevin, no. I think the Warriors just have an asterisk. That's it. Yeah, they won because they won a championship. So good. They won a championship. Yeah. And if they keep winning, you'll keep saying Warriors. But if you don't win a championship, yes, you keep shooting the three ball. But you might want to find a way to hit some twos because everybody can't shoot it like the Warriors. That's a solid pass right inside where his teammate wants it. Now the feed to Douglas. Green, the screen. Douglas with it. Williams picks him up. That one's in there. Rocket lead is cut down to six and the bucket's from Douglas. You know, huge height advantage there, but because of the great body control, he's able to cancel it out. He also understands better than most how to use angles, and that was the reason why. And it's Gordon missing. The Grizzlies trail by six. Green, the screen. Passes it to Daniels to the right side. Picked by Randolph. Here's Douglas. They kick it out to Green. Oh, good with the triple. Rockets leading by six. On the wing, Gordon. James Harden. He's checked in for Houston. And Memphis also making a switch. Chandler Parsons, he's checked in for Daniels. Now here's Harden. He's tightly guarded. On the wing, Gordon. Covered by Parsons. Four on the clock. Another miss by Houston. The Grizzlies trailed by six and stolen by Gordon. Beyond the arc. Again, the miss by Gordon. And after hitting only one, three in the first quarter, he has none here in the second. Here is Douglas. Randolph a screen. Douglas the pass to Randolph. Five to shoot. Again, Memphis no good. 
The defender took away the airspace, crowded him. That changed the shot. To the paint, kicks it out to Harden. Anderson against Green. Anderson dishes to Williams. And it's good, two points. Williams has got eight points. How about the passing? They are moving the ball without any thought, without any individual agenda. Williams against Douglas. Picked by Randolph. Outside, Green. He feeds it to Douglas. From deep three-point range. Whoops, there's the 24-second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. And if you're wondering where the points are coming from here tonight, here's a breakdown in the scoring between the front court and back court tonight for the Rockets. And it's been guard play, which really has shouldered the burden offensively here. They'd like a bit more production from the front court, but in the meantime, this backcourt has kept them in the game. Williams with the ball. He's got eight. Harden kicks to Anderson. Let's it go from 11, and it's Gordon. That time on the assist by Anderson. Gordon's got a second bucket tonight. So timeout called here. The first for Memphis. Yeah, just frustrated by their lack of production offensively, and I can't blame them. I mean, they're getting the looks, but the shots just aren't falling. They should consider trying to get closer to the basket. Right now, the shots they are attempting are just clanking off the basket. Looking at who's out there now for the Rockets. Clint Capella, he's checked in for Nene, and it's Patrick Beverly in for Williams. Beverly, the pass to Harden. Here's the screen. To the middle, kicks it out to Gordon. And out of bounds as the Grizzlies gain possession. While we have the chance, we'd like to reveal the list of the past month's best fast break teams in the NBA. In third, the Rockets. I mean, they have really hit their stride in terms of that transition game. No doubt about it. They are playing at a great pace. Conley against Beverly. Green with a screen on Beverly. Back to Green. Some nice passing there by Memphis. The Grizzlies with another miss. And that's the shot he has to take. You just can't pass a wide open looks. You must shoot it. It's Harden with the drive. No good. Some solid defense from Randolph. The Grizzlies trail by 10. And for all the scoring, Greg, that James Harden gives you, he's also one of the top playmakers in the NBA. You know, and even coming out of college, Kevin, a lot of scouts felt Harden could play the point. I mean, that's one of the reasons why this guy is going to consistently be in the MVP conversation. Conley with the three. And just because you can make it from outside doesn't mean you need to live there. There are good threes, and they are bad threes. And they've had assists now in their last three baskets. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Kicks to Parsons. Outside, Randolph. And that misses bad air ball. Obviously, this has been a tough quarter for him, but he's still trying to keep a positive mindset. Harden dishes to Anderson. And there's the pass to Gordon. It's good. Gordon's got seven. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Randolph kicks to Conley. That's tipped, and that's out of bounds. Memphis will retain possession. 
some changes for Memphis. Marcus Gasol has checked in for Randall. Carter comes in for Jermichael Green. And Tony Allen subbed in for James Ennis. Now a timeout called by Memphis. And Smitty, you were just starting in the league when NBA basketball games were becoming what they are today in the 90s. So you, the popularity of the game has just increased so substantially. Was it strange to see yourself being portrayed in video games as uh, we see now? And, and how did you react to it? You know, very humbling, Kevin, to get a chance to see yourself, uh, your name being called in the video game. But what I did like, Kevin, I was so skinny. The video game had me looking buff with oh, muscles yeah. and everything. <laughs> so I like that. You look pretty good right now. Yeah, yeah that's because you're my friend. <laughs> well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. Now Conley. Parsons outside. Back to Conley. Harder on the wing. Parsons for three. No good that time. And Houston the other way now. Stolen by Michael Conley. Shot to end this cold run. The rebound by Anderson. Anderson's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Honestly, I don't know how they cut into that lead with him missing so many shots. Now here's Gordon. 16-point lead, the largest margin in the game. Lock at six. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Tony Allen. That is his first foul of the game. And the Rockets making a change here. Ariza's checked in. got room and a little luck that time but it drops Harden's got 10 points and the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively Allen kicks to Carter Conley left side and that's out of bounds Memphis will retain possession and now a moment to see the stats for Carmel. Over the last month, he has been spectacular. Averaging 22 points per, six assists, and two rebounds. He has been at his most dynamic, no question about it, a real handful. Sam Decker's checked in for Eric Gordon. Gasol. Their offense, Stone Cold. Another miss there. Harden the best to Beverly. Back to Harden. Stolen by Allen. And there's a whistle that's going to go on James Harden. That'll be his second foul of the game. He has to be somewhat careful now. Two fouls in the first half. Doesn't want to pick up a third if he can help it. This all set in the pick for Parsons. Dishes it to Gasol. Out to Conley. Six on the shot clock. Good, and the assist goes to Gasol. Conley's got his second bucket of the game to go. Like seeing Mike Conley get busy from beyond the arc. When he has space to pull up, he fires the threes. Here's Harden. And he overshot that one, missing. The defense knows he loves that in-between area and closed out fast. Carter dishes to Conley. Down low, and Gasol gets it to go. Gasol's got 11 points. He has been right on the money tonight. If it weren't for that, they'd be much further behind right now. Harden kicks to a reason. To the paint, Capella the pass to Decker. Houston moving it around, and Vince Carter picks up a foul. That's his first foul. And the Grizzlies making a change here. Daniels has checked in. Here's Decker. Taking a look at his stance, he's averaging around seven and a half points a game. Good little two-man action there, but they just can't get the shot to fall. All you ask for is execution, and those shots will fall later. The defense totally blew it. They left him way too wide open, and he dropped that one with ease. 
sends Beverly in the corner. Harden. Just five on the clock. And it comes off the front of the rim. Memphis with the ball. They've got an 8 nothing run to the inside. Here's Tall. Out to Conley. He dishes it to Gasol. Outside Conley. Gasol a screen. Outside Conley. Memphis needs to get off a shot here. Shoots a fader. It's Gasol missing. And the fadeaway was the only option he had on that one. Defender there all over. Beverly dishes to a reason. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Michael Conley. That's foul number two for him. Nene, he's checked in for Houston. Williams comes in for Patrick Beverly. And the Grizzlies also with the sub. Douglas is checked in. Williams. It's rebounded by Memphis. He's cooled down a little bit after draining those two three-pointers in the first quarter. Good-looking screen by Gasol. Carter kicks to Parsons. And Parsons sends it in. Gasol is ready to do whatever it takes, including giving up his body to open up room for his teammates. Williams against Douglas. Williams kicks to Decker, pass to Nene. It's his first trip to the line. Now, gentlemen, two shots, two shots. free throw no good and he misses the second one as well so he is 0 for 2 that time Carter the pass to Daniels. Gasol kicks to Parsons. The dish to Douglas. Three. And it's going to be a three second call. Now here's Williams. Eight points for him. They set the pick. Harden inside the three-point line. It's good. Great play by Williams to set it up. And 12 points for James Harden. And he could be the guy to put this game out of reach. Exactly what he's trying to do. Take an opponent that's struggling to keep pace and just put them further in the rearview mirror. The clock runs out, and we're heading to halftime. Rockets lead by 10. We'll be back shortly live from Houston, Texas. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello, everybody. Ernie Johnson here, along with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Time to review the first half of action. Houston holding the upper hand after the first two quarters. They lead by 10. Shaq, let's get your opinion on their game so far. You got to like their offense efficiency. They were patient, took good shots. That was reflected in their high field goal percentage. They just need to keep playing smart in the second half and close this thing out. Don't get cute now. And now, Kenny, let's get your opinion on Memphis. Well, look, they turn the ball over way too much. You can't do that in the NBA. Teams are just too talented. You can't give them that many possessions. Don't give away the entire game just by giving up an extra few possessions here and there. These guys need to come with more precision in the second half. That concludes our halftime presentation. We now take you back to Kevin Harlan for the second half.
And as we return to Houston, Texas, a terrific look at the skyline here. The Toyota Center, part of that great landscape. And we welcome you back to the NBA here on 2K Sports. And we're ready to get going once more. The players having a chance to have a short break and get some rest themselves and get refueled and hydrated with some Gatorade. More terrific basketball in store for us tonight. You look at Patrick Beverly. He's been playing really well. He yeah, created a lot of quality shots for himself in that first half, and he knew when to pass it up when the double team came. Just awesome on-court awareness, knowing when to take it to the hole as well as dish it out. That's why he is such a crucial member to this team. Beverly and Harden are the one and the two. Ryan Anderson out there with Clint Capella. And it's a reason in at the three spot. They're the group for Mike D'Antoni starting the second half. Now a reason. After the missed three from Mark Gasol. Here's Harden. Capella dishes to Harden. Capella, the pass to Harden. Anderson outside. He kicks to Beverly. Off target from three-point range. And for those of you turning in, we're about a minute into the second half. Conley kicks to Green. Parsons outside. Out to the right wing. Shot clock at five. Gasol. And a foul called on the shot. Got him on the way up that time, so he'll shoot two right here. A very special bond between Mark Gasol and Zach Randolph playing together for the Grizzlies and their front guard Steve. They hit it off and look at each other like brothers. They do. What I love about Zebo and Mark Gasol is they play on the string together. We call this high low, but what's so dominant about these two? They both can play high, they both can play low, and they have a great feel for each other and they generally like each other. And so Gasol nails them both. What I like about Marc Gasol, you get everything. Scoring, passing, block shots, rebounding. He's the total package. Now here's Harden. 12 points for him. The basket drops, and he gets fouled on the shot. One free throw coming his way. Yeah, how about that one? Able to maintain control and finish the play. The Rockets have gone 5 of 9 at the line. The Grizzlies trail by 11. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, the Grizzlies are starting to show their age a little bit. Last season was an example of that, but they still have that throwback style of play that's hard to gauge. Mark Gasol said, the game is evolving, and we as players and as a team have to evolve. We have to change things and adjust. We need tweaks and counters from game to game and year to year. Kevin? All right, Gia, they know they needed more shooting. You know, the thing about James Harden, though, there's really no perfect way to defend him. I mean, he can torch you from deep, drives the lane as well as anybody, especially when he's looking to create contact. And, and in many ways, your best defense against him is a good offense. You try to match some of his points by scoring on the other end. Well documented that maybe defense not his strength, <laughs> but, you know, that's an area where if you want to have success, you're going to have to do a good job on that end. And both free throws good for James Harden. And thinking about ways to stop Harden, part of the problem is that he's really built like no other player out there. <laughs> Physically, he's got that barrel of a body, the long arms, and just enough quickness to blow by you. He's elusive yet always looking for contact, which is why he lives at the free throw line. That's good. The Houston lead is cut to just nine points on the basket from Conley. Conley is just a knockdown scorer from the mid-range, senses the separation, and cashes in easily. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. Pulls it from the elbow. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. 
It's on Tony Allen. For Houston, they have made eight of their 12 free throws in this game. And he makes the first. He hits both from the strike. Second half of play with just under two and a half minutes gone. I'm out time called out, the out. Grizzlies. Guarded. And a moment here to look at where the shots have been coming from. Well, he has turned in a complete offensive performance so far, and he isn't through yet. I mean, you have to admire the work rate he's put in to get open on every trip. Even when he isn't the one scoring, he is affecting the defense as they have to gravitate towards him. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Conley's shot is off. And at a time, they really need him to shoot well. The exact opposite is what's happening. Feeds to Beverly. to Harden. Five on the clock. The feed now to Capella. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it three. How about the concentration? He gets hit but stays with the play and gets the finish. Eric Gordon, he's checked in for James Harden. The Rockets have made 10 of their 14 tries at the free throw line in the game. And that one misses. The Grizzlies trail by 13. Outside Conley. Allen outside. Passes it to Green. Parsons against Sanderson. Parsons outside. No good off the back of the rim. Rockets leading by 13. Reza passes to Gordon. The Rockets with another miss. The Grizzlies have gone two of five, shooting here in the third quarter. Parsons dishes to Conley. Parsons outside. He feeds it to Gasol. Gasol setting the pick for Allen. Parsons for three. And the miss by Parsons. Houston's gone 0 of 2 from deep to start things here in the second half. And there's Eric Gordon on the assist from Ryan Anderson. Anderson's got his fifth assist in this one. Parsons outside. Gasol is screen on Ariza. And Parsons gets it to go. Parsons with the easy release to drill home the three. And Beverly kicks to Gordon. Now the pass to Anderson. Gordon a screen. Here's Beverly, and it doesn't even draw iron. Not a good pick there. If I'm shooting the ball and I'm looking at him, I'm asking, where is the effort? You've got to do a better job of screening. Now here's Allen. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game for him. Zach Randolph has checked in for Marc Gasol. Side kicks to Conley off the pick and the shot no good a bit short Houston leading by 12 and here's Beverly he's got 12 Ariza has the open look but he recovers it back to Beverly Anderson is screen on Conley Beverly the pass to Anderson Gordon with no one around drills it from outside. Gordon's got five points now this quarter. You never want to give him an open look from outside because he will flat out burn you from there. Carter, he's checked in for Memphis. 
to get a break in the action. So let's take a look at the West and how the teams are stacking up. Taking a look at Houston. Right now, they're locked into third place in the conference, looking to get a high seed for the playoffs. And checking out Memphis, just a few spots below there. And guys, when you look at Memphis, this season has been, it's been solid. But they just need to maintain their place in the standings and get 100% prepared here for the postseason. I don't think they played their best basketball. So if things do come together for them before the end of the regular season, look out. Gordon, a screen. And Beverly kicks to Anderson. Shot clock at five. That's a two from Gordon. Another shot to Pella. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. And, and let's check out some stats. Here are the numbers for Capella. Second in field goal percentage. And, of course, rim protection always at a premium. That's an important part of his game. Top 20 in blocks per. We've seen him miss a couple from the line so far going two for four. And, and he buried a bunch of shots from the stripe in that last game. Two shots. And he makes the first. Lou Williams is checked in for the Rockets. Tony Douglas is checked in for the Grizzlies. That one misses. You know when you have injuries, they create opportunities. And Jermichael Green took advantage of this. There's a guy that's played in the D League and in France, but he's had pretty much, I would say in 2016, a breakout season for him. He had a nice open look right there. Douglas has got his second bucket of the game to go. Whenever a guy is open, Conley will find him. He has a talent for getting the ball to his guys quickly. Anderson the screen. Here's Ariza. Another miss by Houston. And Green played mostly in the paint in Alabama, but he's showing Steve he can shoot with range here in the pro. Well, Jermichael is adding that. Very long, has a lot of athleticism, but the one thing you love about him, his face-up game is getting better and better. And two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. Why don't we take this chance now to show you the most active wing defenders in the league? These are this season's steals leaders at small forward. Third is Trevor Ariza. And, and this is the set of guys that can do as much or more damage with their defense as they can with their offense. They know how to swoop in for a steal from anywhere on the floor. They're not just great on the ball defenders. Oh, take a These break. are players who get in the passing lane. Two shots. They double team, and they love harassing guys in the paint. First free throw is good. So for the Rockets. Nene comes in for Clint Capella. And Sam Decker's subbed in for Anderson. The Grizzlies also making a change. Troy Daniels, he's jacked in for Mike Conley. He's perfect from the line this time. This is as good as it gets from the charity strike here in the second. Nene with the screen on Douglas. There's the screen. Out to the wing. And the wide open shot from Decker. Good. And it's Williams who picks up the assist. Williams has got his third assist on the night. Here's Douglas. He's got six. A three ball. Hits it from three point range. Douglas has got seven points for the quarter. Wow, something's brewing, guys. The three-pointers just continue to flow. Williams against Douglas. Gordon up on top. He's got 12. A shot missing. Some solid defense from Randolph. He's tried to get it going, but the shots simply have not been there. Nothing seems to be falling. Here's Green, and it's in after a nice bounce off the right side. Green's got six. You know, Jermichael Green is extremely gifted down low. A solid post threat who can get the job done down there. Out 
outside. Gordon lets it go from deep. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Gordon. The Grizzlies trail by 10. Douglas with it. Nine points in the game so far. Dishes to Daniels. Shoots it. Off the mark. Had a chance to trim it to single digits. Williams against Douglas. Open shot by Ariza. It's good. Great play by Williams to set it up. Williams has got his fourth assist in this one. Now Douglas. Randolph sets a screen for Douglas. Got it, and the Houston lead has been cut down to just 10 points with the bucket from Green. High basketball IQ right there. Saw his teammate had the advantage, so he got him the rock and let him go to work. Now, here's Decker. He dishes it to Williams. He got an advantage there off the pick and took it right in. He's got 10. And they are trying to put the hammer down, attacking the rim whenever they can. Well, that's how you bury an opponent when they're struggling. Don't ease up. Just keep going hard. Here is Daniels. He's averaging just around eight and a half points a game. That one good for two. I'm not sure why he didn't take more time to square himself up, given the space he had. But he still got the shot to go anyways. Fires from 14. Rebound by Williams. Rockets leading by 10. Ariza outside. It's rebounded by Memphis. Randolph's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Tries it from nine. It's hauled in by Gordon. Gordon's got four rebounds in this game. Ariza outside. Fires the three. And out of bounds is Memphis gains possession. And the Rockets making a change here. Harden's checked in. And Memphis also making a switch. Gasol's checked in. 139 left here in the third quarter. Williams against Douglas. Gasol in the high post. All alone. And he wills that one in, sinking right through off the back iron. And whenever there's a man open, Gasol will find him. An all-around team player. Mark Gasol picks up the foul. That'll be foul number five on him. And due to the bonus, we'll be headed to the free throw. Throw good, James Harden. And both free throws good for James Harden. And they didn't shoot it very well from the line in the first half, but they've gotten much better since halftime, and it's helped them to secure the lead. Now here's Douglas. He's got nine. Looking for Gasol. He gets it there. And it's Memphis with another. Whether it's Gasol's post-up game or jump shot, he fills it up in a hurry. He can score from so many angles. Williams kicks to Gordon. Nene up top. Defended by Gasol. Nene dishes to Williams. Outside, six on the shot clock, lets it fly. Decker gets the bucket. Decker's got six points. There's 39 seconds left to play in the third. Douglas the pass to Daniels. A jump hook. That one's in there. Rocket lead is cut down to eight on the bucket from Gasol. He has been one of the only positive things for his team. Everyone else is struggling. Williams kicks to Harden. 
Yeah. A shot by Nene. No good. Okay, that lay-in. He's tricky, but the defense was just too tight on him. Good-looking screen by Gasol. Douglas kicks to Randall. Shoots. Can't hit the turnaround jumper. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. The Rockets on top. They lead by eight. We'll be back shortly live from Houston, Texas. Hello and thanks for joining us, folks. The fourth quarter of play should begin momentarily. Rockets leading by eight. So on the four from Memphis. Down low, the tough pair of Zebo and Gasol. Allen is out there with Tony Douglas. And it's Carter in at the small forward position. Now, here is Harden. And Nene slams it in. And, and nobody, guys, among the defenders stepping up to challenge him on that drive to the 10. And, Greg, he says thank you very much and <laughs> sails in for the flush. If your heart going to at least step in front of him, you can't be surprised when he throws it down like that. Douglas can't hit. The Rockets shooting here about 46% for the game. Williams with a clean look. It's good from long range. And the Rockets lead by 13. And they're going to have a hard time climbing back into this game if they continue to defend like that. Their defense has been atrocious all game long. And there's the call on the net. That is his first foul of the game. Andrew Beverly is checked in for Lou Williams. Parsons checked in for the Grizzlies. Conley now comes in for Tony Douglas. One minute now into this fourth quarter. Here's Parsons. Whoa! Yes. And if that doesn't get them fired up, guys, nothing will. Greg, just what the doctor ordered, huh? Some high-flying annex to narrow the deficit. Not only does that dunk help in cutting into this league, but it gives this team a real confidence boost, too. And the highlight real replay brought to you by Kia. Good stuff on that Kia slam cam. I don't know what's happened to him in this second half, but he's been terrible from deep. A three ball. That's in there. Conley with the assist. Conley's got assist number five here tonight. Really smoking the nets now after a difficult time shooting in the first half. Beverly dishes to Nene. Nene with the screen on Allen. Pass to Beverly. Shot clock at six. The three from Harden. Here's Nene. And it's good for two. Nene's got four points in the quarter. He's a great offensive rebounder, and he showed it. Now here's Conley. There's the pick to the inside. Here's Parsons. It's good, and it's his sixth make against 11 attempts. It's really been a tale of two halves, guys. A slow start, but this quarter, he has really been the man. Harden left side. To the middle. There's the dish to Beverly. Anderson the screen. Puts up a three. Kicks it out to Harden. And the ball travels out of bounds. It was last touched by Harden. Houston making some changes. Clint Capella, he's checked in for Nene. And Trevor Ariza has subbed in for Eric Gordon. Jamichael Green, he's checked in for Memphis. And we're about three minutes into the fourth quarter. The Grizzlies trailed by eight. Allen outside. He kicks to come. Inside, Parsons. Good D by Ariza. And they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. Harden the best to Ariza. 
look at the clock, a little under three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth. And Anderson gets it to go. Another gap in the defense found there, and they've really had their number today. It hasn't been pretty. They just haven't looked interested in putting forth the kind of effort it's going to take to stay in this game. And there's the foul. It goes on Ryan Anderson. That's his fifth foul. defense Houston they led by as many as 18 points Green kicks to Gasol Memphis moving it around stolen by Harden and, and how about no turnovers here in the second half making sure they get a quality possession every time down the floor Knocks it loose, and as it goes out of bounds, Houston able to keep the ball. And you could tell that pass just hung in the air for a long time. That was a risky pass. Poor decision, really. Fortunately, they didn't lose the possession. And here are the Rockets now. It's a 10-point game. And here is Capella. It's stolen by Green. Conley kicks to Parsons. Shoots from eight. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing. And Houston gets called for the foul. Chandler Parsons gives you a little bit of everything. He can dribble it. He can shoot it. He can pass it. A very versatile player. First free throw is good. Both free throws good from Parsons. Rockets leading by eight. Stolen by Michael Conley. Outside Gasol. And another miss by Memphis. Yeah, just a solid job on the backboard. They are really controlling the inside. Come on, Harden. Harden kicks to Capella. Gasol with the steal. Conley gets the bucket. Really enjoy watching Conley take it all the way. Defense can't match it with his blinding speed. Beverly dishes the heart from downtown. Kept alive by Houston. Second shot opportunity. The Rockets with another miss. Now that's terrific defense at the rim. Got right in his path. That will be in his head. The next time he comes down the lane, he'll have thoughts about that one. And Parsons gets it to go. I'll tell you, he is scorching the nets this quarter. Maybe that'll help wake up some of his teammates. And Beverly kicks to Harden. It goes straight through with the switch. Harden's got 20. Outstanding job looking for his teammate and connecting with him with a flawless pass. Here is Conley. Gasol is green on Beverly. Gasol inside. Capella's there. It's rebounded by Houston. Capella's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Kicks it out to Harden. Anderson the screen. Harden the pass to Anderson. Hits the front of the rim and out. I like that shot for him, though. Very little defensive pressure. He typically rises up and buries that. Conley dishes to Gasol. He gets the whistle. Contact on the way up, and two shots coming up. You just can't bite on Gasol's pump fake. When you do, he makes you look downright silly. Two shots. The first one falls. And 
and so Marcus all nails both of them. Rockets leading by four. And Beverly kicks to Anderson. Here's the screen. Harden inside the three-point line. And it's good. He planted his feet on the pick and shield the defender off. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Out of bounds. Houston takes possession. Wow. Embarrassing error in judgment. Gives up the possession without a fight. For Houston, they've gone 6 of 12 from the field here in the fourth and even 50%. Feeds it to Beverly. Harden sets the pick for Beverly. Back to Harden. And it's Gasol with the rebound. Gasol's got nine rebounds now tonight. Allen passes to Conley. Gasol is screen on Hart. Here's Conley. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. Mike Conley, steady and reliable, Steve, at that point guard position. Well, they call him a true point guard, and the reason why, he can score, he can defend, he can distribute, and he's a leader on the team. He's a throwback from the old point guards two back shots. in the day. First one drops. Mike Conley is an effective two-way player. He's masterful at running the offense for you, and he is a big-time defender at that point guard position. And so Mike Conley nails both of them. Mike Conley Jr., I love him. He's one of those guys, very steady, very heady, does the right thing as far as running the team, being able to distribute the basketball, and can score when needed. Now here's Harden. And foul called as he misses. He'll go to the line and shoot two. It's on Tony Allen. And Conley loves to attack off the pick and roll at 6-1. Uh, Steve Conley isn't really an above-the-rim finisher. No, he's not. But he can score at three levels, behind the three. And he has a nice floater in the lane. And at times, he'll pull up with a mid-range jump shot. First one falls for him. It's interesting. No free throw attempts for him in the first half. He's finally pushing the action and reaping the reward. Both free throws good for James Harden. And, and what an advantage. You really feel like you can always trust him when he's at the line. Conley kicks to Allen. Has to Gasol. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. And really, Gasol is so talented at using his seven-foot one frame to draw contact. Defenders sometimes have no other choice but to whack him. The first one at the line is good. Gasol hits them both. And his work at the free throw line has been terrific tonight, making the most of his chances. Beverly dishes to Ariza. At the top of the key, Capella. Just five on the clock. Another miss by Houston. He can hit it from deep, but needs a little more room to operate. And the defense wouldn't give it to him. Allen passes to Parsons. The feed to Conley. 
Three-pointer. It's rebounded by Houston. One made three form for the game. Does he focus closer in? Let's see. Beverly with the ball. Pulls it up. And Harden gets it to go in on the assist by Beverly. And it's now 26 points for James Harden. The Grizzlies trail by six. Now Conley. Gasol, a screen on Beverly. Outside Gasol. It's not going to go for him. The Rockets go the other way with it. It's Ariza on the wing. Covered by Parsons. Anderson outside. Beverly against Conley. And there's the whistle. Foul hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. Gasol. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. And guys, this is where their depth really comes into play. They, they've got such talent at that position. They'd love to have him out there, but they won't suffer much of a drop-off. That's good from Beverly. Free throws, good from Beverly. The Grizzlies trail by eight. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Randolph goes in. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Randolph. Rockets leading by eight. Here's Beverly. Harden sets the pick for Beverly. Passes it to Harden. Down low. Here's Capella. Good. Yeah, exceptional play there to take the ball and still get it to fall. Grizzlies trailed by 11. Conley kicks to Randall. To halt the run. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. Anderson. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he will sit for the rest of this game. Nene, he's checked in for Houston. And he knocks down the first one. You know, over the years, Zach Randolph has proven to be the perfect leader. He commands respect, and he gets it from his teammates. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Here's Beverly. Here's Ariza. Makes it off the glass. And the Rockets lead by 11. They love getting simple looks like that inside. And here is Conley. Green, the screen. Nene against Randolph. Nene pulls it in. Because he's such an explosive force down low, the defense threw everything they had at him. And it worked. To Mark. Here's Beverly. Offline with his three. The Grizzlies trailed by 11. Outside Conley. 
Randolph against the name. The 11 footer is shot by Randolph. Randolph's got four points in the quarter. Even when the defense all over him, Zach Randolph is just too powerful. He has all the answers. We've got 108 left in the game. Conley kicks to Randall. Rebound by Nene. You love the post out on that possession. I love it because you don't give up on the play. Just that little contest bothered his shot. Now here's Nene. Here's Harden. And the defense really pressing up on him. Made that a tough shot. Outside Conley. Parsons for three. Yes, indeed, it is good. He's now eight for 14. And even with a hand in his face, Chandler is in total control. And now they decide to foul intentionally. First free throw is good, and that makes it a seven-point lead. Houston making some changes. Harrell, he's checked in for Capella. Decker comes in for Trevor Ariza. And Eric Gordon subbed in for James Harden. So Memphis going with almost an entire new group here. Martin's checked in for Jermichael Green. James Ennis comes in for Parsons. Troy Daniels, he's checked in for Allen. And Tony Douglas is subbed in for Mike Conley. Now a timeout called by Memphis. They trail by eight. 32 seconds left to play in the final quarter. What's your take, guys? And you know what? They're not ready to give up yet. They'll try to intentionally foul if they can get a quick hoop. Clint Capella, he's checked in for Houston. Lisa comes in for Sam Decker. So Memphis going with almost an entire new group here. Green, he's checked in for Jarrell Martin. Parsons comes in for James Ennis. Allen's checked in for Troy Daniels. And Mike Conley subbed in for Tony Douglas. Beverly against Conley. Here's Beverly. So we see the Rockets get the win here. Even early on in this one, it seemed like they were happy to be playing at home tonight. And it makes a big difference. And once they started to really... Thanks very much. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Welcome back, everybody. Ernie Johnson, along with Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith, as we present our Jordan Player of the Game, James Harden. Well, he just couldn't be stopped out there. Easily the best player on the court tonight. It wasn't just talent. He was the aggressor. This is just no way to keep James Harden in check when he's locked in like that. He's got too many ways to beat you. He combines scoring on the perimeter, scoring inside, step back, and he can pass it like nobody else. Harden was a steamroller tonight. Just stay out of his way. He didn't even try to Euro step tonight. Run him over, Harden. And that'll wrap things up. Thank you.